this next story is a super throwback all the way to fifth grade elementary school band. A small group of like 10 of us were selected to perform at this live recording for the local public access channel. Now this was a big break for me at 11 years old, okay? I'd be playing in front of tens of people live in the studio and probably single digits of people watching at home. Now the way this was gonna work is the band director, they were gonna be at the performance, but they weren't gonna do any conducting, okay? We were just gonna, you know, count the songs off ourselves and run through them. And I mean, the songs we were playing were only like eight bars long, but still, that's kind of impressive for a bunch of 11 year olds to get through the songs all by themselves. So we start going and we play through the first song, absolutely nailed it. So then it was time to do the second song and I was switching over from the snare drum to bass drum and this freaking kid that was counting us off just starts counting off before I was ready. And I missed like two measures of music and I was freaking out, dude. 11 year old me needed to play those measures. It's probably like a few quarter notes, but still, I wanted to nail all the parts. So then that song ended and the dude starts counting off again before I'm back on wait, the snare wait, drum. Wait, one, two, let's stop. <gasps> That's it, the world was about to end. I had played a random note when nobody else played. This guy's making all sorts of mistakes over there. <laughs> so we ended up playing through that song and it went fine because, you know, then I was ready. But oh man, all those mistakes I made in the middle of the concert it felt terrible. But after the concert, I was surprised. The band director said we all did a great job. My parents said I did a great job. Everyone thought we did great, even though I knew I did horrible. Yep, that was a pretty terrible experience, unless I'm making it up because one of these stories is fake.